Even throughout the pandemic, the work of music instructors at Walker West Music Academy has not gone unrewarded. The pandemic really showed the courage and the greatness of our instructors. When the state shut down, we brought people in over the weekend, we trained them on how to do remote online lessons, and we didn't miss a beat. Braxton Halsey, the executive director, says he's been proud to have continued serving the Twin Cities during a time when people needed healing most. But that's not to say things were as smooth as the jazz they teach. So when he heard the McKnight Foundation is partnering with the Ford Foundation to provide $7 million in funding for Black and Indigenous people of color-led organizations working in the arts, music to his ears. This grant really comes at a good time. Oh, it comes at a wonderful time. It allows us to not only find a building, because a lot of times you think capital campaign is just about building an infrastructure, but it allows us to really expand our programming to serve the community. And one of the things that is a high focus is that we want to get more African-American students and we want to get more lower income students. And the African-American component is about closing that opportunity gap that exists within the state of Minnesota. With about $625,000 headed their way, Halsey says it's the biggest lump sum Walker West has ever received. We really want to elevate and celebrate Asian American stories. Same with Theater Moo, the second largest Asian American theater organization in the nation. Theater in itself is a live construct. It's something you want to feel the collective breath together. They say your heartbeats match when you're in a theater together. So doing that virtually has been hard. One of our number one priority since the beginning of the pandemic has been employing Asian artists who have been impacted so severely by the pandemic shutdowns. And with this grant, they will continue with that effort with the broader mission of promoting diverse visibility. Funding like this, this is a really bold step in fixing the disparity that happens often in funding organizations of color. Um, there's a history of not being able to find support and find the, the money, honestly, in order to do the work that we want to do and celebrate the stories that we want to celebrate. So we're really thankful to be a part of this. Why invest this money into the arts? In this present moment, between George Floyd and the racial tensions in the state of Minnesota, we are in need of healing and music provides healing. The arts are really important now because as we're moving forward and hopefully being able to gather in space together, we want to look back, we want to reflect on what we've gone through, but we also want to look towards the future and continue to build a more equitable and just world. So I think the arts is a really important factor in that. Absolutely. The organizations are still waiting to hear from the foundations to figure out when they'll get that grant money, but they're going to get it. And once that happens, all 10 of the people who are getting it will have a better idea of how they'll put their ideas into action. So look for changes and good changes to come.